Restoring Illinois to greatness. This is Illinois Rising, presented by the Illinois Policy Institute and hosted by AM560's Dan Proft. Dan Proft back with Pat Hughes, co-founder of the Illinois Opportunity Project. And Pat, we do this little series at upstreamideas.com, upstream-ideas.com. Uh, Illinois by the numbers, trying to break down Illinois in consumable bites so people can understand what some of the policy problems are by distilling numbers. And one of the numbers that we've distilled at Upstream Ideas, 6963, 6,963. That number is the number of local units of government that Illinois has uh, far and away more than any other state in the nation, despite the fact we're fifth most populous. So part of the financial problems with the city, the structural, I mean, with the state, the structural problem with the state financially, it's not just high paid public sector workers with guaranteed seven figure pensions. It's also the layers upon layers upon layers of government. Yeah. This reminds me, Dan, of Gordon Gecko's speech in Wall Street, where he's talking about tell our, tell our paper and all of the vice presidents that are passing paper back and forth and getting nothing done. This is what this is. You, you can't run a government this way any more than you could run a business this way. There's too much repetitive work being done. There's too many people being employed. There are too many structural costs being um, applied to each of these units. So what we need to do is we need to consolidate that down like you would with any business um, and save the structural costs associated with all the independent governmental entities. And if you did that, you'd save an incredible amount of money and the government across all platforms would be more efficient. Or the other way to do it, you're Catholic, I'm Catholic, we believe in subsidiarity, the government closest to the people, the authority closest to the people. The other way to do it is for state government to not be in the business of doing everything it tries to do uh, to reduce the size and cost and expanse of state government and say, okay, local units of government, we're going to empower you to, along with your constituents in this representative form of government we have, to deal with a lot of the challenges at the local level that can be dealt with at the local level. And we're going to get the state kind of out of your business sort of in, in a material way. Seems to me that that's another way to look at this too, from the perspective of local units of government. Yeah, particularly on issues that are specific to that local unit of government. We see this all the time where the state, you know, sticks its nose under the tent of a local government doing something with schools or with something else because they have the imprimatur to do it because of how it's financed. Or the federal government does this all the time. They come and they say, we're giving you federal money. We're going to come in here and we're going to put our nose under the tent as well. And 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 so if we stop, it's going to be very hard to get people to do that, right? Because the people who would make those changes are the ones that would be giving up the power at the state level, at the federal level, to the local government units. It's an interesting survey out this week from uh, Pew Research Center finds one in four Americans believe government is the enemy. Government is the enemy. I mean, that's that's fairly strong. Now, 20, you think 25 percent, but the, the, to ask that question and to get the response enemy, not incompetent, not inefficient. It's the enemy to my interests is what they're saying. That's the federal government. I suspect that number would be at least one in four in Illinois if you were talking about state government. And I think it would be different if you were talking about your local school district or your, you know, uh, your municipal government. And so, you know, kind of part of that is there's opportunities to rally public support, to rethink the roles different units of government play in the responsibilities they should manage and uh, those areas of life they should leave alone. Yeah, and I think the reason why there's such a strong sentiment there is, you know, the federal government, people don't perceive that the federal government does anything for them. They pay these taxes, there's all this debt, trillions and trillions of dollars in debt, but they're not getting anything for it. Same thing with the state, whereas at their local level, they see their police officer in the community, they see their teacher in the community, they understand that the streets get plowed locally or the garbage gets picked up, and they see the transactional benefit to that, whereas on the larger side, they don't. We'll have to save your uh, greed as good speech for oh, another edition of Illinois Rising. I'll be back for that.